Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Art Tube. Thank you for stopping by today. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope it's been a wonderful day for you. And I am making the best of my day the best that I can. I don't know what I did, but earlier I was getting together my dirty clothes for Big Daddy. And I pulled a, like, I don't know if it's really pulled a muscle or I have a kink in the muscle in my back, like in my shoulder blade. And it's giving me a little bit of fits, but hopefully, you know, it'll pass probably after I sleep and let it rest and quit moving. It'll pass. But, um, yeah, that was not expected. So anyway, today I was going to, I was going to work in my planner and just thought I would, you know, bring you guys along. I wanted to show you some of my past books and just give you a little flip through, a little see, you know, what I've done with planners and composition notebooks mainly. That's what I have here is composition notebooks. That's what I've always used as planners. I do have, um, my 2023 happy planner and my 2024 happy planner here so i'll just give you a little look-see um this particular book is just stuff i just wrote in i didn't um i did not um i didn't draw anything in here it's just where i wrote down thoughts and um, whatever was going on or whatever I needed to know. So it's not really anything to show other than I just wrote down a lot of thoughts. I didn't do any art in it. So I really wouldn't call it an art journal. I would call it more of my brain at the moment because <laughs> that's what I used that book for was just um, writing down things that I needed to know and to keep up with. So I'm going to lay that one to the side and let's see what else I got here. Um... Okay, Llama Mama. Let's see. Um, I don't really even remember what's in some of these. Uh, this is where I wrote down patterns. And, again, no drawing or anything. It's just where I kept up with things that I needed to um, know about patterns and stuff. Some, you know, most of them that I kind of made up my own. And was just doing things. Let me see what else is in here. Yeah, it's just a lot of um, patterns. So composition books do come in handy for patterns. Um, and I didn't have a llama sticker, so I put a unicorn sticker on it. I guess. I don't remember putting this book together, and I didn't remember what was in it, but it's patterns. Okay, so here is my war book. Now, so on this one, I did take um, scrapbook paper and put over the front. This is a composition notebook. I put scrapbook paper on the front, scrapbook paper on the back, on the inside and outside. I did that and then I took let me see I think I did on the inside of this one also yes this scrapbook paper right here and then I took um, duct tape that was you know in this color you can get duct tape in all different colors now I just bought some unicorn duct tape and then I just put that along the side along the edge and so, also, in between there, I had put this ribbon, um, probably right here. I taped it down, or glued it down on the inside of this book, and then put my, um, scrapbook paper here, and I have this ribbon to, you know, mark my place where I'm at. So, this was my prayer journal, and so, it was just a book where I wrote down some prayers and scribbled <laughs> scribbled and just you know done whatever wrote whatever wrote down prayers and yeah so I called it my war book it was just a um 
Oh, look, that's back when I had two fingers over here. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah, I had a pinky over there and two fingers over here. So that was three fingers ago. I'm not sure if y'all can even see that that well. Uh-oh. But yeah, I would just write down my prayers, maybe add some stamps, stickers, or washi tape, or just whatever. So, you know, it's kind of just a little flip through. I'm just, I'm grabbing a bunch of papers up now because you really don't need to see every prayer I wrote. <laughs> and so, I like doing that. I like having a prayer journal. And sometimes, you know, you might want to add art. And, you know, dress it up a little bit. Oh, that's fun kind of looking back through this and kind of seeing things that I wrote. Awesome. Yeah, you can just see. I just, you know, filled up a notebook with my prayers and... things I wanted to say. Maybe I didn't want to say them to anybody else, but I wanted to get them out. And here's something that I had done. Uh, today I'm reading God is three things I'm thankful for. This is what I learned today. Today's prayer, prayer requests, praise report. It's not that I wrote those things every day, but that's some of the things that I would write. Favorite song today and a prayer list. Uh. So, anyway, that was my war book. And I don't know, do I have a date in here anywhere? Let me see. Let me see if I have a date. You know, I don't know. But according to that phone number that's wrote in the back, it was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, let's see. When, when did I have that phone number? It's been a few years back. I hadn't had that phone number in a little while. So, anyway. Okay, so here is where I kept up with menus and what we were having. And the same thing, um, this is scrapbook paper. That is a picture I printed off the internet. Scrapbook paper on the inside, some washi tape on the edge. And the back is scrapbook paper. And I do have Mod Podge over that, the matte finish. Okay, and then um, I put, after I glued this down, okay, I did step that with menus. And then I put um, duct tape that looks like a basket weave on the outside. And so... This is where I wrote down our meals. This is where I did meal planning. Sometimes I take inventory and then work out our meals for the week. And then I would make my grocery list off of this. So that's what, that's what I did every two weeks. We got paid every two weeks. And so that's what I did every two weeks. I started working on the meal, you know, before payday, because then we'd go buy groceries on that day. So I'd start working on the meal. Sometimes I'd do um, um, inventory over here, and I would, you know, do meals according to the menu as much, I mean, inventory as much as I could. And then just write down. So I mainly wrote down meal, our dinner, dinner meals, because we always ate dinner together um, as a family. Now, depending on Big Daddy's work schedule, sometimes when the kids were little, that might have been lunch if he was working evenings, We, but we always ate a meal together, all of us. Um, so... Anyway... Um, 
And then I had things on the kitchen. In the kitchen on my refrigerator, I have a a jar. It's, it's a paper jar, a printout of a mason jar. And on there I have listed, I think, oh, I don't know why it's still up there because we haven't used that in years since the boys were much younger. But I have things that are listed for um, breakfast and a lunch one. So, if you know, they were ready for lunch. They could go in there and look and see what was available. That, you know, we must always had that kind of stuff in the freezer, refrigerator, or in the pantry. So... Yeah, and sometimes I would write down some desserts that we could have, not directly on a certain day, but, and I usually did not do breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but for some reason on this layout, I did, and that must have been because everybody was going to be home that week or something. Something was happening to make me do that, because normally I was just doing, well, there it is again. I don't know why that particular time... We were doing that, but mostly we just did dinner. And then sometimes I'd add some stamps and some washi tape and our first week back to cooking at home. Hmm. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that might have been after the flood or something. I don't know. But you can just see we had... um what was this? We just had, you know, our menu wrote out. It usually started with Wednesday through Wednesday. Or Thursday through Wednesday. I mean, it was two weeks, two weeks worth of food here. Menu, meals. Get it out. <laughs> oh. That's not even my handwriting, so I don't know who wrote that. And then if we were going to be gone, usually I did write that in, you know, that we were um, having dinner somewhere else, or if we were going out to eat, or what was going on, you know, if it was a meal at church that night or something. But anyway, that's not my handwriting either, so... I don't know. That's my handwriting back there. This is Big Daddy's handwriting. Maybe he had to do it that week. Maybe I was sick or something. Because, um, you know, I used to be in and out of the hospital a lot more. Now, that's my handwriting. <laughs> Anything that looks like a kindergartner wrote it, that's my handwriting. Anyway, so that was our menu for the week, and we just did that. I filled up several of these books over the years. We were always needed to eat, so we always had to have a menu. <laughs> and let's see, let me see what this book is right here. So this looks like a planner where I kept um, kept up with what was going on. Let me see what's over here. I don't even know what's in these, these pages, okay? Alright. It's kind of like my bullet journal. Um, oh, my bullet journals. I needed a place to write. And so, this is what this was. Um, and this is from 2016. I know, because it mentions uh, Scotty's funeral. And that's when Jody's brother passed away in 2016. And then, his mom's funeral was in April. So, yeah... So that's just where I kind of kept up what was going on and um, stuff like that. It's kind of like my bullet journal. So, 
So you can see, I've, I've always kept notebooks where I just wrote stuff down. Um, I like to write stuff. Now, my kids make fun of me because they use their phone to keep up with stuff. The calendar on their phone. I'm not that kind of person. I don't like a phone. I, I, I would just... I, would, I could live without a phone until I need it. <laughs> But, um, they, you know, do stuff on their phone, and I just don't carry a phone around with me. My phone could be at the bottom of my purse. It could be back there on my charger, and, you know, I just don't carry it around with me. This is back when I did infusions monthly in Shreveport, or I had to go once a month for infusions. So, anyway, yeah, I just thought I would kind of show y'all, um, you know, a little bit of, that I've always used, composition notebooks. And here is my, uh, just a peek at my 2023 planner. I did used to use um, post-it notes to kind of keep up. Um, with what I had planned and then I could move it around and such but um, post-it notes end up mo falling out and I had to tape them in and then if you need to move them it tears the page so I don't even fool with that anymore once in a while I will use post-it notes but for the most part I like to just write it in and then if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen I, I drawing a line through something does not bother me whatsoever it just means I have a life and so here I am. We are at June the 17th through 23rd. I really wish this began with Sunday because I always like Sunday to be at the beginning of my week. But this planner ends with Sunday, starts with Monday. It's not my, not the funnest thing. I mean, not, not the way I would plan it out. But that's the way it is. So I use different colored pens just because I like to color coordinate things. Um, I will write like activities in a color and just things that need to jump out at me at one color. And just I like to just use different colors. So that's why I use colors. So, I do not have any doctor's appointment this week. Woohoo! That is awesome. <laughs> I am tired of doctor's appointments. Okay, I know the, um, the kids are coming down to do art with me in the morning. So, I need to write that in here. And I also need to call the home health nurse. I don't know. I think... I don't know what's up with that. Something's going on. Um, kids are coming down for art. They'll probably come down about 10. Um, what else do I have going on? Oh, me and Big Daddy are going to a writing club at the library on Monday. And you may not be even be able to see that, but I'll try to pull it up a little bit. Um and let you see after I fill things in. Um, I don't know of anything else up here. On my top row, I usually write things like events or something like that that I need to know that I have that day so I can plan my day accordingly. So I think, I think that's all I've got planned. I don't know what day the home health nurse is going to come out because she called, she was supposed to come last Wednesday. I told her I would not be here Thursday or Friday, and she did not come on Wednesday. She did not call or anything, so I don't know. Okay, so on Monday for YouTube, let's see. I want to do a Happy Mail video right here, and some of these I didn't get to last week, and that's fine because I just shipped them over to this week and that's what I'll do whatever I don't get to this week will shift over to the next week and I'll add new things in so that doesn't bother me not in the slightest bit um let's see I
want to um let's see what i need to do um pop shelf i need to do a shop with me at pop shelf maybe right here I see a hair. <laughs> I see a hair right here somewhere. Okay. Um, Happy Mail Pop Shelf. Um, and I don't know. I wanted to ask you guys this. What time of the day do you watch YouTube? I seems to be that my videos really don't get views unless I put them up in the late afternoon around 3 or 4 o'clock. And then my videos get views. If I put my videos up at 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning, they don't seem to get views. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I want to do a... right here i need i want to do an art journal because i have something i'm really dying to start that i want to film and share with you guys so maybe that will just be right here and a crochet project right there And then I have some other little videos that I guess I'll just throw out there. Um, they're not very, they're not like videos standalone for the day's video, but they can be like a little extra. So, I'm just filling in, trying to see. What I might can do. And I'm just bringing some of my videos that I didn't get to last week over. Pop shop. Okay, I don't want to bombard y'all with too many videos, but I do want to make sure I get some things on here. And the wheel, I'm not sure what that will be yet. We'll just wake up Wednesday morning and decide that. That's the fun of it. <laughs> I can decide later. Okay, I think here we might look at my stencils. I have some stencils I need to go through. Have a color with me right there and an art journal right here but you know what I'm gonna throw in another art journal because that's my jam I'm just wanting to do some stuff in my art journal and I want to share that with you all who are interested in that some of you are not that's okay but I do want to share that with the ones who are is interested so That's good, that's good. So, um, coming back up here, I need to write in things I need to do. I need to call the home health nurse. Call my nurse. 
see what's up with her. I don't know. Something went down kind of weird last week, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. Um, and my, the rest of my week is kind of free. I do have, um, like I said, me and Big Daddy are going to that right club, and I do have some books. I'm business now. When my kids were homeschooled, I created their curriculum. And so I think I'm going to create myself a curriculum for doing um, writing and art is what I'm thinking. I have a couple books that I'm going to use and just um, kind of do art class with myself. And I want to do some art that I am going to put into the um, fair. I have several things I want to do for that. And so... Yeah, that's probably what I'll be filling in right here. I know I want to work on um, an abstract. I tell you what, after those kids come and do art, I'm about whooped for the day, okay? I'll need to take a nap before I can go to the right club, writing club at the library. And I, I need to call the nurse. I'm not going to put anything else on me for right here because I think I'll be taking a nap. After the kids leave, I am wore out. I really am. So right here, I'm just going to write down that I do want to do art every day. And I do want to write something every day. I don't know exactly what that's going to be yet. But that is a goal of mine, is to do some art every day and to write something every day. And I'm just going to fill it in to right here, and then I'm going to stop. And that's just four days that'll get me started. And even if I don't actually do art, I can, like, research some and figure out what I want to do for the fair because I have a list of categories I just have to create something to go in those categories so that just is going to remind me that I want to do something art and I also want to write something because I think I need to practice writing no matter what I write I just need to write something every day and I am writing in my um my art journal where is my art journal by the way um I'm looking for it, and I'm not really seeing it. Let me see. It was on my desk, but I think it got buried. <laughs> I see it, and if I move it, a bunch of stuff is going to fall. I am writing in my art journal every day. Like, I am up to date. Um, Sunday, June the 16th, I am up to date writing in my art journal. I started it in June and I have wrote in it every day. I've done some doodles and drawings and I will flip through that um, in another video. And maybe I'll put that somewhere right here. Maybe I could just do a um, journal flip through here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. My um, journal flip through. Now, I'm going to have some more art books. Not necessarily an art journal. Because that is my art journal. I'm going to have some more art in a journal book. But it's not where I'm writing down my feelings. And things that are happening. And how I feel about stuff. And, you know, like a prayer I might have. Or just a concern. That is all going in my art journal book here this uh, that i'm just dying to get started in is going to be totally different and i'll show you the book i'm using for that um on that day so anyway that is about what my day is looking up to be i got a few stamps just to kind of dress up my week here let's see I'm going to leave a lot of empty space along here because things always come up, you know, that you didn't think about. Things that um, 
you just need to fill in later. So I will leave a lots of space for that. And let's see. I grabbed a few stamps and I grabbed a washi tape. Um, let's see. I know that I'm not doing anything else this day. Because <laughs> I'll need to take a nap. And I should write that in. Go take a nap. You know what? I think I'm going to. Or I will not be able to go. If I can take a nap here, then I can go to the writing club later that day. So, yep, that's the way it works. We've never been to that writing club, so we're going to go and just see what it's about. See, you know, who's there, what kind of people are there, are they really advanced, do we look stupid, or what? <laughs> and then we'll decide if it's something for us or not. We don't have to, um, you know, we don't have to go back if we don't like it. I'm just adding in some stamps here, here and there. Just seeing, dressing it up just a little bit. Give me something to look at. <laughs> and then I have a llama, and I'm going to put my llama, where am I going to put it? And by the end of the week, I will have wrote notes around in here, just different things that happened or, you know, like I may end up making a little list of things I need to get. My feeding tube supplies, I have to, you know, make sure I've got enough of that to get me through. It's getting close to the end of the month. And so I have to, you know, keep up with that and see when I need to order and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I got. Sometimes I might add a little washi tape, but I really like adding stamps. I love stamps. Cute stamps anyway. I'll just tear that with my hand and I'm going to put now I didn't put meds or anything like that on here because Big Daddy gives me those at night just before he goes to bed and I'm going to put this right here in case I need to um, write two different things up there Yeah, he gives me my meds at night, right before he goes to bed. If I'm not already in the bed, or, you know, if he just feels horrible, um, I don't mention it. I just, you know, skip. But, um, so I get my meds once a day, if I'm going to get them. <laughs> so that's not really on my schedule. That's on his schedule, according to whether he feels like doing it or not. So... There we go. I have planned for the week, and I'll just try to give you a little, little closer look. Let's see. Yeah, I can get just a little bit closer look. Um, like I said, by the end of the week, I have will have added a lot more jotting down things, things I need to do, know, or um, keep in mind. I do know something I need to get, so let me get a different color for a little grocery list. Here, I'll just get this. Um, I need to get cat food. When I filled up their when I filled up their things this morning, I was like, "Wait, don't I have another bag of this?" And I went and looked, and there was not another bag of their cat food. So I need to write over here. That I need to get cat food. Ugh. I know I'm expecting something in the mail. 
on this day, so I'm going to write mail here and on Thursday. My feeding tube supplies, something that I have to have for that will come in, a new tube. So, yep. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys get going and... um yeah, let me know what time of the day do you watch YouTube? Do you think it matters when people put out videos or what? Um, I have Googled that and it says it really doesn't matter, but um, my numbers say otherwise. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, it's a beautiful day to enjoy your life. Bye, friends.